Kyrie Irving made a statement about a movie, but they never said a thing about Amazon that put the movie out, huh? You're right. I never heard. I, I never heard them say. They said about after Amazon. the after the interview with Kyrie Irving, they their sales went up seventy five percent. But did they donate it to the blacks in America? Mm-mm. But we look at the little picture. We don't look at the big picture. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. You know, it's just like <laughs> you know, we you got your boy Charlie. He talks about how this is happening. Y'all going to talk about Jerry Jones. Right. Your owner of the, the Dallas Cowboys. He was at the Ku Klux Klan meeting, not letting blacks in school. But he had a change of heart. Did he, or did he have a change of heart? <laughs> oh, see. He don't have any blacks in the upper echelon of his, of his establishment. So he got the same racist mentality he did when he stood up in high school and not wanting blacks to come in their high school. Wow. Oh, I was young. And I mean, so R. Kelly was young, too. So like everybody was young. But whatever, when when Kanye West says something that Negroes, it gets over our head. We take things that are emotional. Uh, Kanye said slavery is a choice. Well, he didn't say the slaves that came here had a choice. But when you take a million dollars and this crock could tell you what to do, you have a choice to say yes or no, huh? So slavery is a choice. Yeah. So he talking about pretense. So whatever it is now that he tried to be a free yeah. slave, they start bemangling him, huh? Putting him in his place. Kyrie Irving made a statement about a movie. But they never said a thing about Amazon that put the movie out, huh? You're right. I never heard. I, I never heard them say. They said about after the, after the interview with Kyrie Irving, they their sales went up seventy five percent. But did they donate it to the blacks in America? Mm-mm. But we look at the little picture. We don't look at the big picture. Wow. It's easy for us to say what our children are doing. We're the only race on the planet that criticize our children. You don't hear Mexicans criticizing their kids. You don't hear Japs criticizing their children. Let them grow. Even a white man, he ain't going to criticize. If I mean, I was going to high school. I was going to Gardena High School. It was predominantly white. If a white boy hung out with us, his parents would disown him. You don't want to be a nigga, you just act like the niggas and come back at 21 and be white again. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But we embrace everybody but each other. They don't invite us to Cinco de Mayo. And when you come, they start speaking Spanish. So you don't know what you're talking about. Wow. But <clears throat> we have Black History Month. We want everybody in there. huh? Let me ask you something. Like when you look at like, like, you brought up a valid point. I've been watching it like like everybody you see is affiliating themselves with some kind of way. Like like we talked about Chris Brown that time it, it, when we talked about Chris Brown, everybody was listening, and looking. And but Chris Brown ain't the only one that was doing, you know, that that represents. The, and uh, I the, just you that at that time I used Chris's name because Chris, he did for Compton as much as Compton ask. Ask for nothing, you get nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? He never violated. You know what I'm saying? So his name just came because he was from Fruit Town and this and that. But other people exploit your hood. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.